I started by joining all the groups uh, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, on all, all the different social media platforms. And uh, those groups also help you uh, with a lot of different things. Uh, like uh, deciding on who you want to be uh, paired up with when you're looking for roommates. Uh, you also get to decide on uh, what are the places you want to look for housing. So the first thing when you're looking for houses is to, uh, what I would say is to look for places which, uh, which are safer uh, in the neighborhood. One thing that you can uh, look for is uh, some referrals on your uh, leasing agreements. So uh, a lot of the apartment com complexes have a, a referral scheme internally such that if uh, any uh, resident uh, refers you uh, uh, as, a, as a potential um, um, a roommate or, 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 a, or, or someone who's looking for a flat uh, to the apartment complex uh, office, then you and they both in some cases get some kind of a commission or some kind of a discount on your agreement. So that turns out to be very good. If you can find such uh, such a negotiation, that will be uh, a win-win situation for both you guys. You, you, you have different uh, mobile apps that you can uh, use to track your expenses, uh, such as Splitwise is there. Uh, you also have Venmo and a lot more other apps which you can use to track your daily or monthly expenses. Uh, were four people living in uh, a two-bedroom apartment. Our rent was close to 800 and so dollars. So that was 200 per head. And uh, the food was, um, I would guess, another 100, 150 per month. And transport is, uh, is one thing that is going to be really uh, great. Uh, for you in the sense that uh, so Arizona State uh, University provides free transportation through the orbit buses for books um, a lot of us you know used to share the expense of one ebook uh, amongst 10 people or, or uh, five people something like that and we'll just get one ebook and that would be much cheaper than getting an actual hard copy textbook transition was uh, very good <laughs> I would say because it was a completely new experience. Um, I, so I, I never traveled outside India uh, before that. So it was a completely new place, new experience, new people. We used to cook, so two of us uh, were very good chefs and two of us were not, but we used to share the chores amongst each other, like cutting vegetables will do, one, one person will cut the vegetables, another one will cook and in cycles the other two people will do the same thing. The culture is totally different, the, the way people um, talk, interact with you, uh, you, you'll find them a lot more friendlier here. You get to see your professors, your, uh, your faculty uh, beforehand before the curriculum starts. Um, you also kind of uh, get to understand uh, what was the idea behind the subjects or the, the course uh, overall and how it was set up, why it was set up this way. You also get to, uh, to interact with um, alumni of your university. Um, so you can you know interact with them, form a connection with them, network with them beforehand and kind of have a, have a good impression. My class had around 40 to 45 students, 55 to 60 percent students from uh, from India, but there were students from uh, all over the world, um, from Kenya, from Africa, from China, from Japan, all over the place. The majority of the students in my class had uh, a good amount of experience beforehand. Um, the average uh, years of experience was around four years. Honestly, we did not have a lot of time for outside activities, but I did indulge in uh, different, um, not, not in university activities or university competitions per se, but other um, recreational activities like playing volleyball with friends from time to time, going to the gym, 
um, you know, playing squash with them from time to time. Yeah. Uh, so all those uh, fun activities you'll always get time for. <laughs>